London, the third tour of 888A, but the fifth stage on August the 6th was a time trial stage. From Easinger to Rotornak, a distance of 17 and a half kilometers. The liaison stage, 55 and a half kilometers from Rotornak to San Antem. Three climbs in the uh, time trial, and a major descent at the finish, falling from 860 meters to 485. But one of the race favorites for the time trial, Runa Hoidl, number 11, setting off. Two minutes between each rider in the time trial on, on the mountain bike tour of 888. Runa Hoidl used to ride the Grundig World Cup in a downhill, being chased at two minutes by Miguel Martinez, winner of the time trial stage in both the 95 Tour de France and the 96 Tour de France. But Martinez caught Runa Hoidl just after the, the, the halfway point and indicated to him to get out of the way. He wanted the road. But he was to cross the line. Looking very tired. And exhausted. Crossed the line in 32 minutes and 31 seconds. He says, I have a good time asking the question. But he says also, I have no problems. Bart Brent Jens, third in the time trial in 1996, fourth in 1995. The big gear pusher trying desperately to win the stage. But Dupuy, another good time trialist. He was going for his second stage win. He eventually came across the line 53 seconds down on Miguel Martinez. And Martinez said afterwards, after the third stage, our boss, Mark Max Commencel, went mad and said we would have to win all of the remaining stages. In French, the team should have a soufflion, a big effort. But Savignoni crossed the line 118 down on Martinez, so he would be no threat on this for the win on this stage. But Kay Levens would be a brilliant time trialist, third on the road in the Junior World Time Trialist Championships, championships back in 1995, <laughs> despite this little crash. Kay Levens was to come across the line, despite Miguel Martinez's anxious looks, 51 seconds down on the Sun Nike rider. And Martinez asked afterwards, uh, rather anxiously, I, I can't remember my time, 32 or 33 minutes. Uh, blows out and thinks, wow, Evans didn't beat me. And last man off, Lenny Christensen was then the only rider who could beat Martinez in the time trial. Clearly making a big effort. His big gear pusher, much like Bart Brent Jens. Electing to ride like a roadie rather than like a mountain bike rider. He came across the line in 33, 33 minutes, 18 seconds, 40 sec, 47 seconds down on Miguel Martinez, who celebrated his win with boss Max Commensal. A very happy rider indeed. The third time, in fact, he has won a time trial in the Tour de France. Three, to, three Tour de France, three time trial wins. Kate Levens retaining his green Espoirs leader's Very jersey. Good, you know, it was almost downhill the whole way, and uh, I thought they should take some time on me, but they couldn't, so uh, I'm very happy. Uh, normally they are better than me in the descent, you know, but uh, when I can take time here, uh, I think I can do very well in the last couple of days also, so I'm satisfied. A happy man indeed. Lenny Christensen, after five stages, in the lead overall, leading Kate Levens by 3.14, Jean-Christophe Savignoni by 4.40, Roberto Lazan by 14.56, Christophe Dupuy in fifth spot. So we've reached the halfway mark of the tour. Let's take a look at how the Australians are faring. And as we saw, it's been a great tour for Cadell Evans, who's sitting in second place on the GC and doing wonderfully well for the Diamondback team. As for the rest of the Aussies, Paul Rowney is in 19th position, Josh Fleming in position 40, followed by Brent Tanzen in 42nd position. Gary Payne is lying in 78th place, and Matt Devlin is doing well in 98th position. Incidentally, Diamondback leads the team standings with the Australian MTB team in 12th place.